Hello everyone, this is Motion Grapher here and today in this video we are going to create a business card animation within After Effects. First of all, you need to download this file from freepick.com. Make sure to give the credit to the author if you are using the free version. After downloading this file, you have to open this .aps file in Illustrator because we have to separate all the layers that we are going to animate in After Effects. The good news is that if you are a Patreon user, you can download this separated layers.ai file from the Patreon website. Link is given below in the video description. As you can see that there is only one single layer and we cannot animate this one single layer in After Effects. So we have to separate all the elements inside this Illustrator file and then import those separated files in After Effects to animate these business card. So for that you have to open this layers window. If you cannot see this layers window in Illustrator, you have to click on this windows button and then click on this layers panel. After opening this layers panel, click on this drop down icon and you can see that we have one main group layer. Click again on this drop down icon and you can see we have three different layers. You can click on this eye icon to see that what these layers have and verify these things to separate the layers. So you can see that we have the front card in this layer, the background or back card in this layer and the background in this layer. To separate these layers, you have to release these layers. So if you do not release these layers, you cannot like drag them out out of this main group. So you have to release the layers from this main group. For that, you have to click on this main group and then you have to click on this icon and then you have to click on release to layers sequence. Now you can easily select these all layers and then you can drag them out. As you can see that this layer is now empty, you can delete this out. So now you can rename these layers easily by clicking on this eye icon. So I'm renaming this to as background layer. And now you can see that this is our back side of card. So I will rename it to as back card. And this is our front card. So I will rename it to as front card. Now we have to separate the each element from these front and back side of the card. For example, we have to separate this black layer, this yellow layer, this logo layer and the polygon layer. Also, we have to separate this side text layer as well. For that, you have to click again this main front card layer. And now you can see that all these layers are grouped into one single layer. So you have to click on this group layer. And now you can see that we have this logo layer, we have this web text, and we have this background layer. So now you can separate these layers one by one, or you can separate them all at once. So if you want to separate this one by one, you have to click on this circle and then press Ctrl X. Now you can see that this logo layer has been cut out. Now you have to click on new layer or create a new layer and then you have to paste it out. If you press Ctrl V, you will see that logo is played somewhere else. It's not a good way. So I'm just pressing Ctrl Z or undoing it. Now you have to paste it as Ctrl Shift and V or Command Shift and V for Mac users. Now you can see that this logo is placed exactly from where it was cut out. Now it's time to separate the background layers and then this web layer. So first of all, I'm going to separate this web layer by using the same method, clicking on this circle. Now you can see that we have highlighted this web layer or web text, pressing Command X or Control X to cut it out, create a new layer and then Control Shift V or Command Shift V. Now you can see that this is pasted on one single layer. I will call it as web text. I will call it as logo layer. You can verify it by using this eye icon to see that we have placed this thing in one single layer. It's time to separate the background from this main layer. So you can see we have this group and inside this group we have another group. So we have to click again on this drop down icon. Now you can see that we have four different layers and on the second layer we have again this in grouped into one single layer. I'm going to click on this icon again. Now you can see that we have this polygon inside this layer. We have polygon shadow inside this layer. 
and then we have yellow background and the black background so what i'm going to do i'm going to separate this polygon layer by clicking on this circle and control x i'm going to create a new layer and then just paste it out by using Control shift v rename it to as polygon layer and then i'm going to hide this shadow layer because we are going to create the shadow layer inside after effects the shadow layer we import from illustrator doesn't work in after effects so we have to make sure that we are hiding this out or you can just delete this shadow layer inside this illustrator by just selecting this shadow layer and then press on delete icon now we have to separate this yellow background from this main layer or main grouped layer again we are going to click on the circle press ctrl x and then we have to create a new layer same method ctrl shift v and now you can see we have separated this yellow layer out of this main layer do not worry about this style we will create or we will adjust this thing in after effects the main thing is that we have separated all the layers from the front card this is our background or black background of the front card so i am renaming it to as black background front layer so now we have separated all the layers from the front card it's time to separate the layers from the back card for that you have to click again on this background drop down icon now you can see that we have one main group layer so again you have to click again on this drop down icon from this you can see that we have this informational text all inside in this one single layer and then we have this main text that is in this one single layer and then we have this background layer in this one single group so first of all we are going to separate this informational text you can see when i clicked on this circle everything is inside this group so i'm just dragging this out by pressing ctrl x so you can see that we have like cut this layer out you can create another layer and then press ctrl shift v and now you can see that we have grouped this or cut this out in one single layer but now we have to separate all of these information into all different layers because we are going to animate these things as one single element so we have to make sure that these all elements are on one single layer so there would be one layer for address one layer for this phone number email and same for website so for that if you click on here you can see that we have one group and inside this group we have all the layers one by one easy method is you can like click all one by one or cut it out or you can just click this main group and then release to layer sequence select all of these layers and then just easily drag them out now you can rename them one by one so this one is our email so i'm double clicking it and calling it as email this one is our web layer so this layer is our address layer and this one is our phone layer and this one is the main group from where we have extracted all of these layers so this one is empty you can delete this layer perfect we have separated all of these informational text into one single layer as you can see we have separated all of these layers we will create the new text inside after effects to change all of this dummy text we will change all of this text inside after effects so do you do not need to worry how i will change this text so now it's time to separate this main text and the background layer so you can see that we have main text inside this group i will click on ctrl x create a new layer and ctrl shift v and renaming it to as main text and this layer is our background of this back card so click on drop down icon and we will do the same thing like we did for the front card here we will first separate this polygon create a new layer control shift v this is our polygon and now we will like hide this shadow layer and now we will separate this yellow background create a new layer and control shift v or it is orange or whatever we call it so orange or yellow background whatever it is so orange bg and now you can see that we have separated all the layers for this back business card 
it's time to animate these layers inside after effects after separating all of these layers you have to click on this file save as dot ai file and just saving it as dot ai file press ok the file is saved as ai file it's time to import this layer in after effects and start doing the animation